Does your current home insurance cover you? What if you're underinsured? Setting yourself up for mayhem. Stay tuned to figure out how to find out and what to do about it if you are. Hi, I'm David Brownell, Brownell Team Realtors and Real Broker. Today's topic is for all homeowners, not just those thinking about buying or selling a home in this current hot market. And it's about reducing your risks. Everyone wants less risk in their life, right? I mean, sure you do. We all know that home values have climbed considerably during the past few years, and that's obvious. Is your home insurance sufficient to protect you in the event of a loss today? I was recently asked this question and I didn't know the answer. And that bothered me, it bothered me a lot. And so I did some research and figured that out and luckily we were in good shape. But if your house was lost, how much would your insurance coverage pay you? Is your coverage sufficient to rebuild your home or make the repairs? Ask your insurance agent those very questions as soon as possible. That's what I recommend to you. Here's a story to let you know just how important that is. I was on a Zoom call recently with a broker in Colorado who shared a story from the Colorado forest fires from a few years ago. It says many homes and neighborhoods are still boarded up because owners were underinsured and couldn't afford to put additional monies to repair or replace their residence. That's sad. One specific example was a family who got $330,000 from insurance proceeds but it was gonna cost them $560,000 to rebuild their home. They didn't have the extra $200,000 and things are still tough for them. If you have investments or other rental properties, check them too. Also, we recommend that you take a walk, an annual walk around your house to video your belongings. It's another simple way to better protect yourself in the event of an unexpected or not very likely event. I mean, risk is risk, period. In fact, we have a checklist to share with you. Yeah, we do. And I love that thought. It's a personal risk mitigation assessment checklist. You answer the questions and get a score. That score grades the present level of your personal risk and how mitigated it is. So are you good or are you at risk? It's gonna help you figure it out. It's quick and it's easy, check it out. It was super easy for Tiffany and me to work through it. And we shared it with our families and they loved it too. So I gotta believe it has some value. At Brownell Team Realtors, we're here to lead to guide and to protect you long after your real estate needs are fulfilled. This is one of those examples. I hope today was helpful for you. I'm David Brownell, Brownell Team Realtors and Real Broker. Have a great day.